If you don't know about those veggies, you should start working on them right now. Why? I will explain to you now. Oh, if you have trouble understanding my pronunciation, there is a subtitle ready for you below, so simply just turn it on if you like. So, you will receive these badges depending on how much you contributed to your faction at the end of each circle. Those badges are especially important for PvP players. Why is it important? Because it gives you a bonus that increases your health and attack power. When a new circle starts, the damage and defense increase bonus received by Shadow and Immortal gets reset. And it takes some time to get to the max level bonus again because Shadows need to work on their Shadow ranks and stages and Immortals need to increase their Eternal Crown level. If you feel suddenly too squishy at the battleground, especially just after when the new circle started, it is probably because you don't have this damage and defense increases bonus. So the attack bonus from the badges will be very very handy for you. So I also studied the new circle last week and the damage and defense increases bonus it received has been a reset. This is a screenshot of my attribute I took on, on the first day of the new circle. If you look at my status now, you will see that my attack power has increased by 24%. This is a combat bonus given by the badges, which means that I can do 24% more damage to the other players. The damage done to enemy may be smaller depending on how much defense increase the enemy has, but these badges are very helpful to me, especially right now, because I just became immortal and all the bonus I was receiving during last circle is gone. Let's take a closer look at this badge system. The combat bonus given by the badge is divided into a total of 4, with a maximum of 8% and minimum of 2%. You can have 3 badges at a time, and the most recent 3 will be chosen automatically at the start of the new circle. You will receive a badge based on how much score you get in each of 4 categories. To get the highest combat bonus, you must score exceptional in each category. There are four categories which are activity, royalty, participation, and impact. Activity is given according to how many daily activities you have carried out. So the more you finish your daily activities, the more points you will get. Royalty is about how long you belong to your faction. For example, if you are Shadow, how long you have been as a Shadow, and if you are Immortal, then it is about how long you stayed as an Immortal. If you frequently switch from Immortal to Shadow, or from Shadow to Immortal, then this score will be lower. Participation is about how much you contributed to your faction. For Immortals, it's your prestige score and battleground rank, and for shadows, it's about shadow rank and battleground. For the adventures, it's your battleground rank. Impact is a bit similar to royalty, but I guess it's about how much impact you made to your faction, such as your participation in Axel. So, if you participate in Axel and won, then you will probably get more score than the others who didn't. If you want to learn more about it, check out your profile and deed of valor in the game. So guys, if you want to defeat those players who are stronger than you, then this little combat bonus in this game will be very very helpful. So I hope you don't miss out on those so you can enjoy your PvP. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and if you liked today's content, then don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Then I'll see you next time. Bye!